Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new in this channel, please hit the subscribe button, not only the subscribe button, but also the bell icon. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to color grade like a movie or cinematic color grading. So let's get started. So this is the picture I'm gonna use and at first copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J and then convert it to a smart object. And then open it with camera or filter. So I have to decrease the highlights first. I think minus 50 is good and bump up the shadows around 80 I think and decrease the white. I think minus 42 is good and then black I think plus 25. Yeah, that's good and I have to decrease the clarity. I think minus 25 is good and then vibrance Fifty five for vibrance and decrease the saturation around minus forty one percent. That's okay. And then go to the curves adjustment layer and doing some adjustment. So the curves is done, look at all this, I will give this preset totally free, you can download from the description box and then go to the sharpening, I want to add sharpness, I think I am giving 100 for this and radius 2, that's good and come to the noise reduction and I am giving 100 for color that's good then go to the ACSL adjustment layer and come to the hue and I'm giving minus 26 for reds and minus 5 for orange minus 43 for yellow and just a little 2 for green and minus 59 for aquas and then 47 for blues and 32 for purple and 4 for magenta then go to the saturation and I'm to increase the red I think around 35 percent and orange minus 27 I think yeah that's good and yellow minus 46 and minus 69 for green minus 10 for aquas i think minus 79 for blues and minus 35 for purple and also the magenta then go to the luminance just one for red and 20 for orange and then minus 12 for aquas and minus 40 for blues and then go to the display tuning option and in the highlights i am giving 37 for hue just a little one for saturation and in the shadows i am giving 
76 for hue and 20 for saturation look at this and then go to the effects i want to add grain i'm giving 46 here and 45 for size and in the vignette option i'm giving minus 16 here yeah that's good then go to the camera calibration i'm giving minus 2 for tint and in the red primary channel i'm giving 26 for hue and then 15 for saturation and in the green primary i'm giving 44 for hue and 0 for saturation and in the blue primary i'm giving minus 11 for red minus 11 for hue and 32 for saturation that's good okay let's see the before and after by pressing q look at the difference it looks good so press ok when you are done let's see the before and after again look at this this was the before and this is after it looks good and now i to create a gradient map and i'm selecting this and double click on this color point and i'm choosing a color i think the color code is 002f4d yeah this type of color look at this so press ok ok again and change the blending mode to soft light and decrease the opacity i think around yeah 29 percent is good to me and now if you want you can add the black bar on the top and bottom for the creating black bar you need to know the ratio first you can use 21 is to 9 aspect ratio or 16 is to 9 aspect ratio so for this i am selecting a rectangle tool and just a random select and now in the wide look at this w and i am selecting here 21 0 0 and in the heights i am giving 9 0 0 it means i am using 21 is to 9 aspect ratio so after creating this just go back to your move tool and then click on this and the background layer and then place it to the medial by clicking this icon and this icon and then select the rectangle and press ctrl and t and make it bigger just like this and then press and hold ctrl and select the rectangle and then delete the rectangle layer create a new layer and press ctrl shift and i to inverse the select make sure your foreground color is black and then press alter plus backspace to fill the selection with black color press ctrl and d to deselect and now look at this the effect is done now let's check the before and after this was the before and this is the after look at this it's really easy i hope you will love this video if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe